Good morning, guys. We are finally here. It is show day. It is Saturday, November 14th. It's just after six in the morning. I've been out for probably 40 minutes now and I am feeling great. I'm feeling awake. I'm gonna get myself a cup of coffee and a little bit of water into me. And then it is time to head over for the spray tan touch up. It is time to get my makeup and hair done at nine. Um, and then it's just gonna be an awkward gap because of with COVID, there's some really tight restrictions. So we're not allowed to be in the building unless it is time for a division. So even though it's a bit of a gong show for everybody, I super, super appreciate everything that Paramount Performance, Canadian Physique Alliance, Bombshell Productions, and Zoom Photography, and Weave Life Incorporated have all done to make sure that this event happens and that it is still a success for all of us athletes. So shout out to you guys. We see you working tireless hours right now. We're so thankful for everything that you're doing. So after my hair and makeup, there's gonna be that gap. Then I will go on for the naturals. And there's gonna be another large gap again and I'm gonna compete in the evening in the open. So it's gonna be a super long day, but I'm gonna be bringing you guys along on all of it. Sounds like my husband is getting up here now, so let's go get this day started. What's up guys? We are just waiting in the vehicle. I am all changed into my bikini. I need to get glued into it still though. We got some loose spots, but that's okay. We got that bikini bite to keep it all in place. I got my jewelry on, shoes are ready to go, and we're literally just getting updates from the app right now as to when it's the next when it's the best time for us to go in. So they curled my hair obviously because it does not stay straight whatsoever. So what we're gonna do is when it's closer to stage time, I'm gonna go see the girl who did my hair. She's gonna brush them out so we got these like sexy beach waves going on so I'm so excited to see what that looks like finished otherwise I'm about to get some peanut butter rice cakes and salt into me and then I'm gonna be having an orange juice as my pre-show pump up so let's see how this glucose does for me and let's do this okay guys we are back from the venue it's about 3 30 p.m. the natural show is just finishing and I just got back with my participation medal, but I also came home with a couple other things too. So the first division that I was competing in was True Novice because it was my first year competing in the wellness um, division and I was so blessed to take home first place. So I get this cute little trophy to go on a shelf at home. So I'm so pumped that I was able to take home first in True Novice and then they literally you're like off the stage and right back on the stage we were running to get back around to come back on the stage for novice and novice i am so blessed to also have taken home a first so i am so so grateful um, that the judges obviously saw something in me for being a new competitor novice means that you haven't placed top three before so obviously with it being my first time competing i was able to enter into novice as well and then I also entered into class B for my height class and there was some good competition on stage but your girl was still able to come home with a second place trophy. So I am so thankful for this experience. I'm just elated. I got to meet so many new people. I got to challenge myself beyond boundaries that I didn't even think were possible and knowing that I coached myself through this entire process is something that I can be really proud of for the rest of my life. So the show doesn't end here because I'm the smart one that entered into the open tonight. I knew that we were gonna be running behind on things. So I have no idea when that show is gonna start. So we're gonna be posted here. I just made myself a black cup of coffee. There's no indulging just yet. We're gonna have a steak dinner after the open. So it's gonna be chilling time until it's time to go back on stage for the open. So you know I'm gonna keep you guys updated. And a quick side note for you guys, I think the most stressful part of this entire day has been trying to eat in my husband's Ramborghini. Yes, I just said Ramborghini. That is what he calls his truck. Um, so trying to eat rice cakes and peanut butter and salt are not ideal, but somehow he's still loving me. So shout out to him. Thanks, babe. You're welcome.
Okay guys, it is about midnight right now, Mountain Standard Time, which means it's 1 a.m. my time. I probably got off stage, I'd say like 20 minutes ago, and I'm so happy to let you guys know that I was able to add another trophy to the shelf. Right now it's the microwave, but it's gonna be a shelf at home. Um, and they forgot to give me my little plaque to go on it, but I actually got third place in my class in the open and honestly guys this blows my mind completely because I knew that I was up against athletes that weren't doing it naturally which does give them an advantage and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever but I knew coming into this that I was expecting to kind of be smoked but I really wanted to be there for the experience and honestly this just goes to prove that anything is possible guys so third place in the open Unfortunately now, it's so late that we missed being able to go out for our celebration meal because of COVID. They've closed down the hours um, earlier, but that's okay. I'm still positive. I'm vibing off of today, and I'm just so, so grateful for this experience. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, November 15th. It's the morning after the show. I did not have the greatest sleep last night. I think my adrenaline and excitement kept me up, so I had a light sleep. Then unfortunately, my husband left his alarm clock on, woke me up at 6 a.m., and there was no going back to sleep after that. So I got up, got some cardio done at the gym. I'm feeling fantastic this morning, um, and I'm really excited for a good meal. So we are about to head to the Monkey Bistro which apparently is really tricky to get into. So I'm really excited to try a couple of things on their menu. So obviously I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for all the good eats and all the fun we're gonna get up to today. Okay guys, we are at the Monkey Bistro in Calgary. It is finally time for my celebration meal and I am so stoked. So my husband made sure that we picked out two plates um, that we both like because I'm probably only going to be able to eat a little bit. Um, I really don't expect my stomach to be able to handle all of this because it is going to be some really rich comfort food. So we have the chorizo pancake tacos and then the beef brisket. It's like a poutine bowl with hollandaise sauce and your girl loves her hollandaise sauce. a great morning so far it's about 2 p.m. right now and we are just finished at the mall we have spent a lot of time there trying to find my husband the most perfect pair of shoes he needed those Air Force ones I'm pretty sure so we found him what he needs he's happy now so he says that now we get to go and do what I want to do so First things first, we are going to go to Modern Jelly Donuts. I'm so excited to try them out. Now, keep in mind guys that I am not going to be overindulging. I did not have any sweet treats after the show, even breakfast breakfast this morning. Um, you know, I did not eat a whole bunch. I ate what felt comfortable. And the thing is, is that I don't need to push my limits right now. There's no reason to need to overindulge. I want to rock this reverse and everything comes in balance. And that's why I'm really proud of how my prep went because I felt like it was really sustainable. It was balanced. I wasn't in withdrawal. I had water. I had carbs. I had, you know, everything that I needed to have the energy that I wanted to bring to the stage so I'm gonna keep that flowing with just trusting my judgment knowing what my stomach can handle because at the end of the day going from not eating a ton of really rich foods I didn't have any dairy for weeks because it really isn't something that digests well with me um, you know different stuff like that and processed sugars Going in and overindulging in that is like the worst thing that I could possibly do. It would put my body into shock and I really want to nail this reverse. I'm so excited for being able to build my package and bring a even better physique to the stage next year and I can just imagine my mindset growth by then too. So we're gonna go eat some donuts but I'm probably only gonna have a couple bites. I'm definitely gonna show you guys and I'm just so excited to see what flavors they got. All right guys, we just got to Modern Jelly Donut and picked out what we wanted. We have a maple bacon, a score, a s'more, and a creme brulee. I am dying right now. I cannot wait to try these, so let's see which one ends up being our favorite. 
back in the car, finished the donuts, and honestly, I have to say that I'm eight out of 10 disappointed. I'm always gonna be honest with you guys, and the maple bacon was amazing. Like, the maple on that was phenomenal. Like, it just didn't have enough filling for me, and like, maybe I'm a psycho and I like things stuffed a little bit too much, but like, if I'm going for a treat, like, I don't wanna waste it, I want it to be like, all in you know? So the maple bacon was our first fave. Creme brulee took a, a second and the score and the s'more were an absolute no. We didn't even finish those. So even though it was only just over a donut that I probably ate in total, um, definitely feeling heavy after that. I didn't find their dough the greatest. I'm really sensitive um, to dough depending on how much yeast is used in it, that type of thing. So uh, overall, eight out of 10 disappointed, unfortunately. But you know what? The food ventures are not gonna stop here. Okay guys, we're downtown and we are taste testing five different types of tacos and we got some refried beans to go on the side, two different types of chili sauces to put on them, and I think it's gonna be a really good time. <laughs> So we just finished at Native Tongue Takira. I like said it like 17 times with my husband and still can't get it. That one's a tongue twister. Um, it was very authentic Mexican. Honestly, I am kind of a priss when it comes to my Mexican. I like to keep it really simple. I felt like they kind of took more of a um, upscale spin on it and I'm more of like that street stand, big portion you know home style so it was good I don't have anything to complain about service was amazing and it was a cool atmosphere in there um, but overall did it hit a 10 out of 10 for my Mexican standards no it did not so now we are continuing this little foodie day that I have created here um, and we are going to go somewhere very special I've been eyeing it out for a while and I think it's gonna blow your guys's minds it blew my mind when I saw it, so I'm so, so excited to go and try it out. So we are at Regrub Burgers, and this was my big surprise. We ended up getting a vegan brownie explosion milkshake, and guys, this is dairy-free, totally for me, and Alex and I are gonna share this, so this is not just gonna be me devouring this thing, but let me tell you, I cannot wait. this yesterday but I ended up getting back from Regrub we went into the hot tub my camera battery died we ordered some pizza and went to bed so my husband has actually never had Donaire pizza before and I think it is absolutely killer if you can get a good one but unfortunately did not meet my expectations again but at least he can say he tried it because I can't seem to find it back home so it was definitely a foodie day all together but the reason why it was so successful was because I didn't forget everything that I learned prior to show day okay guys so the most important tips that I have for you as to how I stayed successful was I didn't go off track with menu items I didn't go wild and grabbing every single thing in sight just because I felt the need to because it was after show day and I had a little bit more flex in my diet no <laughs> I only ordered what I liked and what I knew was going to be able to work with where my stomach is at. It shrunk a lot. I cannot eat the same portions that I used to, and that's a good thing. So there's no reason why I need to overconsume if I'm not hungry. So that is a big one, water consumption, okay? I still drank water throughout the day. I slowed down and drank water throughout my meal. I talked to my husband, I took breaks. And then I also made sure that I took time to chew my food, okay? I did not need to shove three bites into my mouth before I decided to start chewing. I just remembered the tips that I have been practicing the entire time before this and didn't just let it all fly out the window. And I think that because 
the day after competition, there is so much flex in people's diets. It becomes this complete gong show and it's, it's a day that's either gonna make or break you because the next day, you're either gonna be able to jump back on track or the next day, you're still gonna be shoving your face and you're gonna be craving all of these foods that you just restricted yourself from for so long. Now, the other thing is too, is I think that people have too restrictive uh, preps, they don't give themselves enough balance in them, then they just wanna gouge themselves with food, they mess their hormones, go completely backwards within a week, just so many different things. So that's why I really wanted to show you guys that it is possible to eat a shit ton of variety without over consuming, okay? And that was the beauty in the balance. So literally we had breakfast out, we had Starbucks where I just had my regular Americano. We had the donuts, which I didn't even like them all, so we didn't eat them all. Then I had, oh, the Mexican, where I shared five tacos and a little bowl of beans with my husband. Then we had a milkshake that we shared, and that was vegan, so we didn't go off track and um, just got dairy just because we felt like we needed to. Like, dairy doesn't agree with us, so I'm gonna continue to keep it out of my diet as much as I can. And, uh, uh, it was absolutely delicious, by the way. I highly recommend Regrub. That is the one thing that actually met my expectations yesterday. So we did the brownie explosion. We were debating on the oh banana that comes with banana bread, and I'm totally gonna try that one next time. So highly, highly recommend them. Um, and again, with the milkshake, we drank it slow. We took some breaks. Like there was no reason why we just needed to slurp the whole thing down and feel disgusting. So. It, that's how you find the balance in it guys and then we ended up having pizza and wings at the end of the night We had hot wings and the donair pizza again I didn't eat any of the crust because I knew that that would make me feel disgusting and I didn't over consume so I felt 100% this morning back on track with all my regular foods um, and now that I'm going into the re into the reverse I will have um, more flex eventually as my calories come up to be able to have some higher ticket items in there but at the end of the day I don't deprive myself I make sure that I have balance so like I, I guess that that's why I'm not all like ah, like food like there's so much emotion attached to it like food is not your friend it is not your foe it's fuel right so people are like oh like that'll be okay for one day and it's like yeah it might have been okay for two days actually but it all just depends on my mindset and if I can just make sure that I get myself out of it right so every person is gonna be different on what their balance looks like and I know that people are throwing that balance word and they're like what does that really mean I just explained to you what balance looks like that was a whole day of freaking food selection didn't feel gross at the end of the day still got my abs this morning and we're back on track with the right mindset because I knew exactly what the plan was going into it. So that is how I stayed successful with my full foodie day. I enjoyed the celebration. Even though the food didn't necessarily meet my expectations, I'm so happy that we got the opportunity to do it. I had so much fun with my husband yesterday. And yeah, so I hope that you guys got some awesome tips from this. And if you are going into a verse and you have any questions or you just finished your show day and you're nervous of what's gonna happen with food, make sure that you go to my Instagram and reach out to me. I would love to be able to talk with you because mindset is everything, perception is everything. And the more that you can detach yourself emotionally from food, the more successful you're gonna be in the long run, okay? So that's gonna conclude today's episode. I hope that you guys had a blast coming along on my little foodie day. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and you know I'm gonna catch you on the next one.